Hello and welcome to this very brief introduction to the week form series where we're just going to answer a few questions about what happens in this series of videos and why we do what we do. So thinking about what we're doing in these videos, each video focuses on a specific week form that you can find in English. Why are we doing that? simply because this is such a common feature of spoken English. Depending on which version of English you're looking at, it can be more or less common. In standard British English, weak forms are incredibly common, so they're really useful for you to practice listening to and also practice trying to pronounce. And in terms of how we're going to do that in these videos, there are some very specific activities that we're going to do. So let me give you some examples. So the main thing that runs through this thread of videos is that we focus on the schwa vowel. This is that weak sound, that uh, that sometimes people struggle to pin down. So in every video, we'll spend a little bit of time thinking specifically about the schwa and then building it into the weak form of the word that we're focusing on in that video. We look at both the strong form and the weak form in each video, and we do that with the script from the Cambridge Online Dictionary. And what we try to do is think about how the strong form is created and where we substitute that schwa sound in. The reason that I look at the strong form as well as the weak form is it gives you something to compare it to and we try to pull those two forms apart usually by just doing a few repetitions of the pronunciation. So I will pronounce the words and then you get the opportunity to repeat out loud to really try and get your tongue used to what we're doing with these sounds. We also have a couple of example sentences in each video for several reasons. First off, it puts it into a context. So it's easier for you to kind of imagine or think about where these words are used, but also it gives us the opportunity to think about why I might go strong or weak because the context really can make a difference. Sometimes it's to do with where the word is positioned in a sentence and other times it's about whether I am emphasising something. Maybe if I need to give emphasis, I'll use the strong form. But if it's just part of the background grammar of the sentence, I might go weak. So this decision making as to why people use strong or weak forms is very subtle, very nuanced. It could never be taught across one set of videos, but in each video we have a couple of sentences where we at least start that process of thinking about why we might choose to go weak or strong. So the best thing you can do is get stuck in and check out the playlist. We focus on one particular word in each video, just the one word, so that you can really dig a little deeper, practice hearing and saying the pronunciation of the weak form multiple times and also have those example sentences. So just one word per video means you can really dig deep. If you've got any questions that you want to ask about the weak forms in English, then please do feel free to leave me a comment below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.